In wake of all this news, people here in Indiana are asking what can we do? Organizations are scrambling for ways to get help to victims and to victims' families. Rich Van Wyck is following that effort. Gay rights groups and other organizations are suggesting people do two things, give money and give blood. You can do one of those two things tomorrow here on Monument Circle. The Indiana Blood Center yesterday afternoon rushed 30 units of plasma to Orlando to restock the blood banks there. Since then, 6,000 Floridians lined up to donate blood. Now, there's all the blood they need in Orlando, yet here in Indiana, people are still donating blood out of caring, compassion, and in support of victims of the attack. Tomorrow is World Blood Donor Day. Blood mobiles will be set up on Monument Circle. They're expecting a huge turnout. We will see more people than we can probably serve. So we want to encourage people to come into our donor centers as well all week. Um, they, can, they can make a difference. They can donate in honor. Indy Pride is helping the center hold a second blood drive tomorrow afternoon. Its prayer vigil, held on just a few hours' notice yesterday, raised $1,600. Indy Pride is also supporting Equality Florida's fundraising effort. Its GoFundMe page has already raised about $2 million for the victims. IYG, the Indiana Youth Group, is raising money to send to groups in Florida who serve the younger LGBT community. There's a lot of information, details on where to look, where to donate, and times and locations of those blood drives. We made it easy for you. We put it on our website. Just go to WTHR.com. What you need is there. Anne-Marie? All right, Rich. Thank you. A lot of folks wanted to help out. For sure. And that's a great opportunity mm -hmm. to do.